You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Personal 11 Alive Morning News, parts of our area under an enhanced risk for severe weather, which means tornadoes are likely in that area. I'm going to let you know exactly where and time it out for you hour by hour in the forecast coming up. Police have now made an arrest in the shooting death of a 16-year-old in Lawrenceville. Coming up, more on the motive and the possible gang connection. More details coming to light about Jalen Carter's driving history as this projected top draft pick returns to the NFL Combine. And we've gone from a red alert to a major mahogany alert. All lanes shut down 75 South at the South Loop in Marietta. We're going to get you around it. Don't panic. The man accused in the shooting death of six of a 16 year old boy in Gwinnett County will go before a judge this morning. Police say that the teenager was shot in the back of the head and found in a backyard. Liza Lucas has more on gang charges. The suspect is now facing. In little more than an hour, Calzadilla Hernandez will appear before a judge, the 20 year old facing murder and criminal street gang charges. The arrest comes after police say they found 16 year old Jose Martinez shot to death behind an abandoned home on Payton Mill Trail Wednesday afternoon. Warrants allege the suspect brought the teen to a known MS-13 gang address on Tuesday night and accused him of killing Martinez to earn, maintain, or increase his status in the gang. Martinez's mom tells 11 Alive that just last week, police warned her son about Calzadilla Hernandez and the alleged gang ties. 11 Alive plans to be in court this morning to bring you the very latest on this case. In addition, the investigation does continue. Please ask anyone with information to call police. Stay with your 11 minutes of nonstop news. We're learning more about former UGA Bulldog star Jalen Carr's driving history. Right now, he is facing street racing charges in connection to the crash that killed a UGA teammate and a staff member. This is newly released video of a traffic stop in September. We've learned police gave Carter a ticket for speeding, tinted windows, and a windshield violation. The officer claimed Carter was going 89 in a 45. Right now, Carter's back at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis for the draft. This morning, loved ones and the East Point community are desperate to help bring two missing men home. Family says they haven't heard from Jason Salter or his best friend and business partner, Kenny Gura, since the lit night of February 25th. Salter's car was spotted on Campbellton Road, but he never came home, and he stopped answering his family's calls. Gura's fiance says she hopes to have him. she was spoke to him that evening, but he also stopped answering. Monday is crossover day in Georgia, a pivotal point for the General Assembly. Some proposed laws under debate won't make it to the final day of the session. It's not because of a no vote, but because they did not pass from the House to the Senate or vice versa. Right now, severe weather hitting Texas and parts of the south. Several possible tornadoes spun up like the one you see in this video, and this is out of North Lake, Texas. At least five tornadoes were reported in Texas and one in Louisiana. 60 million people are under a threat of severe storms. That was a look at your top headlines. All right, Chesley, you're watching some possible storms for us this afternoon as well. Yeah, those storms right now over into uh, just moving into Mississippi, so it's going to take some time for them to get over here. Until then, you'll be looking at clouds and, of course, some isolated showers around the forecast area off and on. They'll be scattered at times, then become a little isolated. That'll be off and on at times. And then after about 1 or 2 o'clock is when we're expecting that line of thunderstorms to move in. Now, ahead of that, the winds will start to pick up. Our winds on the calm side this morning, this is our the gust. And you'll notice how we get to the afternoon. Those gusts will get up into the 40 mile per hour range in a lot of spots. Uh, that's why we have a wind advisory uh, that will be around for today. In fact, it kicks in probably in the next 15 minutes or so. We'll be looking at it at 7 o'clock until 11 p.m. We're looking at uh, the entire area. Area, all of North Georgia under this a wind advisory. It winds anywhere between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Gusts could be in the 45 mile per hour range. Now up here to the northwest uh, from Fanning, Gilmer County over to Dayton, Walker County. Notice that's highlighted in gold there. That is a high wind warning where the wind gusts could reach 55 miles per hour plus in some spots there, especially in the higher elevations. We'll be looking at temperatures starting off in the 50s and 60s out there. It's a mild start for us, but we'll be warming up as we head through the afternoon. 71 by noon, 76 will be our afternoon high temperature for today. We're watching this system. Area of low pressure here. You see that counterclockwise spin heading up toward the north and east. A lot of the energy with the system will travel with that area of low pressure, but it's going to drag a cold front through our area. And so we'll be watching this line as it pushes in to see uh, how much instability will be available for it. And with it moving through uh, during the daytime heating, could have quite a punch for some spots in our area. Notice the winds strong ahead of that front. For us right now, out of the southeast, we'll turn more southerly once that front gets a little bit closer. And that's when we expect those winds to really pick up. 
up above our heads very, very strong, expecting those to mix down to the surface. And so that's where we'll see those stronger winds. Now, it's in the far northwestern counties, Gilmer, Fanning County, down toward Floyd County. This is George's Rome, northward up to Dayton, Walker County, where we're under that level three threat or an enhanced risk for severe weather. A little more likely to see tornadoes there. Uh, a possibility for a brief spin up in the Atlanta metro area over toward Athens. Don't let your guard down. Uh, those any tornadoes that happen to form could be on the strong side. So especially with those winds out there as well, we have to be on guard, folks. We got to be weather aware for this afternoon. Certainly we'll see the damaging winds and of course that very heavy rain to frequent lightning associated with a few of those thunderstorms as well. What time will they move in? Well, I'm thinking after about two o'clock, making its way into the northwest, headed down toward the metro area between three and four o'clock this afternoon and then over toward the east of us by six, seven o'clock where drier air will work in and we'll finally get the sunshine back in here for the weekend. Slightly cooler behind the front for Saturday at 68, 71 degrees for the high on Sunday. A perfect day with an 11 on the whizometer. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, anticipation building this morning. The nation waiting to learn the fate of South Carolina lawyer Alec Murdaugh. NBC's Ellison Barber reports from outside the courthouse with more on what to expect from the Today Show. Two hours and 51 minutes, that's how long it took a jury to convict Alec Murdoch of murdering his wife and son. He'll be back in this courthouse today to learn how long he'll spend behind bars. We'll have more coming up on Today. Right now, events are being canceled. Plans upended after our UGA Insiders report Sedman Coliseum was closed for immediate repairs. Our Molly Oak has been working all morning to figure out exactly what led up to this. The UGA gymnastics meet that was supposed to happen tonight in Athens now rescheduled will be happening here at Gas South on Sunday after UGA told anyone who reserved a spot at Segman Coliseum they've got to find somewhere else to go. That's according to an 11 Alive Georgia insider. A spokesperson with the university says the switch is because a small part of the ceiling fell on the ground on Wednesday. Spokesperson says no one was injured. We're still working to learn details on what repairs are happening. Georgia Gymnastics now takes on Arkansas Sunday at 2 o'clock right here at Gas South. That's also where tickets will be sold day of. If you bought tickets to the original meetup happening tonight in Athens, Georgia says you'll get reimbursed. Back to you all. All right, so we're starting off your Friday with a list of fun things to do this weekend. A lot to pick from, right? First up, the Braves HBCU Baseball Classic three-game series starts today. Grambling State University and Florida A&M playing at Cool Ray Field. The teams are the alma maters of Braves Hall of Famers Ralph Gar and Bill Lucas. First pitches at 7. There's a double header on Saturday and tickets are $10. And you guys, if you're looking for Crash Clark this weekend, you can find him at Six Flags because in just over 24 hours, Six Flags is opening for the spring and summer. The park will open at 1030 tomorrow morning. So to celebrate, Six Flags is giving away gift packs to guests who visit the park tomorrow and you can get your ticket online right now. If you're going out this afternoon, make sure you carry your umbrella with you. There'll be some isolated or scattered showers around the forecast area. 71 degrees will be the temperature by then. Certainly by 3 o'clock, we'll be looking at some strong, severe thunderstorms pushing through our area. And look at those winds out of the southwest. About 24 miles per hour, folks. Gusts will be a little bit higher than that. 76 degrees will be the temperature by then. 6 o'clock, expecting that rain to pull out and back partly cloudy skies by then. Looking at 73 degrees for the high. How about the weekend? Very nice. 68 degrees on the mostly sunny skies on Saturday. Sunday, 71 with sunshine and and 11 on the Wizard. All right, the I, I'd rather talk more about the weekend forecast. That perfect <laughs> 11 on Sunday. Beautiful. Giving yeah. us something to look forward to. Yeah, a little bit of pollen creeping back in. Okay. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> we don't want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta all give right. you the good with the bad. <laughs> give it to us all. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday.